What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. And as promised from last week, we have our two reels. I've got them spooled up with 12 pound mono because I'm cheap. It's from the exact same spool, so that is gonna be equal. The rods are seven foot medium heavy ducats, uh, ducat ghosts, those are equal. Uh, the only thing different is the fact that this one, this reel right here is a year old and it's got spool high speed bearings in it, aftermarket bearings. This one is fresh out of the box, brand new, PC Fun Torrent. Um, everything about them is the same except the bearings. And we're gonna take the same jig, it's a Trash Master jig by Catchco, and we're gonna put that on with a uh, Carl's Amazing Baits trailer, and we're gonna cast over here, and I'm gonna mark 10 casts each. The white flags are gonna be the brand new reel, the red flags are gonna be with the spool high speed bearings. We're gonna see if there's a difference. Let's go, let's do it. I've got to be completely honest, I have no idea how I'm going to film this because I'm by myself today. Uh, so we're going to just hope for the best. Go ahead and tie on this Trash Master jig. This is what it looks like, a little half ounce Trash Master jig. If you like the look of the jig and you like the look of the trailer I'm about to put on, go and hit the link below. Check out Shop Carl's, it's where I buy all of my baits and get this thing for 30% off. No reason to waste money. If you don't have to on tackle. And just for S's and G's, we're actually gonna put a trailer on this. Just because the trailer pairs so well, I want you guys to at least see it. Last video that I posted on Sunday, you've actually already seen this jig, because I caught just a little, I say he was a little guy, he was probably around two pounds, uh, but for that day, he was a little guy. Normally I skin hook this stuff, but we're not skin hooking today, we're uh, we're going totally weedless, we're burying that thing in the uh, the, the plastic. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna change the angle a little bit. I'm gonna try to get a uh, GoPro further down range here. On both the reels, I'm gonna set them at min or medium mag brakes at five. Both of them are gonna be set to five. I'm gonna try to get the tension as close as possible as well. If I can have that slow sink right there, that's about the speed I want my tension on. I'm going to try to get y'all behind me. We're going to set up a GoPro down there and we'll see how this goes. So, uh, the GoPro's out there somewhere. We're going to take these white flags and we're going to try to do this thing. Here goes nothing. There's one. We've got a good little average. I've thrown 10 times. I run back and forth 10 times. It feels like I'm running suicides in gym. Shout out to all my ninth grade peeps. We've got a pretty good average. We've got one that was a really good cast, but our average is somewhere in here. We've got one that's a really bad cast, but this is actually a pretty good average. Um, if you wanna see the distance from where we're throwing, if I'm standing here in the middle of about roughly I'm roughly in the middle of about where everything is. It's not too bad. Um, we're gonna mark it off real quick. I was in band, I should be able to mark off five yard walks. Five yards, 15 yards, 20 yards, 25. Roughly 30 yards, give or take. My marching skills are not up to date anymore. I mean, it's been a while. 30 yards is basically my average there. So let me tie on that jig right there. We're gonna tie it on the new reel, or the, the bearings, the new bearings on the old reel, and uh, we're gonna see how we do. We're gonna get some red markers out there now. All right, folks, the old reel, your old reel, been greased up, ready to go with new aftermarket bearings from Spool High Speed Bearings. We've got the same jig and trailer tied on now. Same line, I'll let y'all be the judge. I'll let y'all see the first one, how fast it was dropping. That's the rate of sync on this one. It's probably a little slower. I could probably dial it back just a little bit. That's about right. 
a nice slow steady fall so now I'm gonna get out my red flags and we're gonna chunk this one around and see if I can't get an average and see if it casts any further than the stock bearings is it worth the aftermarket price to add new bearings we'll see here shortly So something that just happened, a little bit of a trade-off here. New bearings that are really, really good apparently lead to backlashes. Luckily, I got a bachelor's degree in my younger days in backlashes because I got them all the time, which then led me to my master's degree in getting backlashes out. So we're, we're good to go. So I just finished, I just put the thing up. The GoPro down here should have caught everything. Sorry, I need a gimbal or something because this just shakes a lot and I know a lot of y'all watch on TV and that's just probably making you sick. Here is the difference. There's my white flags. There's all my red flags. You'll notice I didn't have that really one outlier of a bad cast with the red ones. It was actually more controllable, which I was not expecting out of those bearings. I wasn't expecting it to be more controllable. But the only one that could compete was my worst throw with the upgraded bearings and my best throw with the stock bearings were almost even. Everything else surpassed it. And I would say that is close to almost 10 yards from the median being about right there to the median being about right there probably about 10 yards basically what I'm getting at is that for basically 26 27 dollars you can upgrade your your bearings and you get about 10 more yards now if we put that in a salesmanship like if we were to try to be selling this basically if you were getting 30 yards with our normal our normal bearings that come stock in it getting 40 yards out of these guys you're getting basically be 33 percent more than you would so roughly 30 percent more than you would from your stock bearings this is just for the pc fun torrent now i don't know how that's going to correlate to any of the higher end reels whether you you know get like a, a high-end pro ti um lose you get a shimano corrado um the new slx's I don't know how that's gonna to translate to those, but for the PC Fun Torrent, you get about 10 more yards based on the setup I had, which was as close as I could get to them being equal. And if those were equal, I mean, you do get better distance. It's only, again, 10 more yards. I don't know if that is worth the extra money, but we took a $30 reel, okay? This is the, the important thing you need to know. A $30 reel out of the box will get you roughly a 30 yard cast which is pretty dang incredible considering I had zero backlashes. I only had one backlash and it was with the upgraded bearings and I think that's just because it got away from me um, just because it's new bearings and it was it was spinning a lot better. Um, I had to have a lot more thumb control and that could have throttled me back too. I don't want to limit that out either. Um, we both know if you're watching at home, not that great of a fisherman. What I want from you guys, let me know in the comments. Ooh, let me turn this way. The sun was probably blowing me out there. Let me know in the comments, would this be worth it to you to get 10 more yards, basically 33 more percent out of your reels uh, by upgrading for roughly just a little less than 30 bucks to something like those spool high speed bearings? Let me know in that in the comments. Leave a like button if you like the video. And uh, as always, if you're not already, hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding dong notifications if you wanna be notified anytime I drop a new video. Let me know what you think of this too, like me coming out and testing products like this that may end up helping you guys. I really like doing this stuff because, well, number one, it gives me a chance to test out new gear, but at the same time, see if uh, it may help you guys so you don't waste your money on something. If 10 yards isn't that important to you, I mean, this I just saved you 30 bucks. Congrats, folks. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.